Shinlanko here. Today I'm going to try to do a modification to my Hornet because the springs are kind of hard and stiff in the front. I feel for this car it's a little bit too stiff. So I'm going to try to cut a coil off the bottom and put it back and see if it gets any softer. Seems to have a lot of understeer that'll help too. So I'm going to get to the mod. Okay, I got the spring off. Now, the edge of the coil here, the last edge of the coil, I'm going to go the coils one, under, two, three. I marked it red, I don't know if you could see it. I'm going to cut it right there. Just like that. Now I'm going to put it back in and try it out. Rubber stopper in place. Alright, now I'm going to see what it feels like. much nicer softer now I'm gonna take this one apart and do it and there you have it beauty much better now so you want your hornet to have a softer front suspension just do that little tip right there and it'll work like a beauty just want to show you some other uh, modifications I did on my beloved Hornet here. I put the anti-wear Tamiya grease on the diff only on the pins and on the bevel gears and on the side bevel gears. You don't want to use it on the other gears. It'll slow you down and cause a lot of heat to the motor. Anyway, I did that and look how it works. I ran this like four times already and it's still on. It's a good little hop up, give you a little more traction. Another modification I did. Let me get this off. Is I put a string here going through and around these holes. It's 30 pound fishing line. And I made it come to this screw here and I put it around and I just barely tighten that up and then you can put a little dab of that goop glue on it so it doesn't loosen if you wish to but I didn't have no problems and what that does is when you floor it holds it down instead of flapping up how it makes the smacking sound and then also lets it twist you see the string it's a nice little mod you don't get the clanking sound. That's about it. Shenlanko out.